Hello there my dear friends and welcome back to the Scott Reed Project and today something rather special venison field to fork right let's go up and see my main man Coops let's see what the crack is Which one? That one there? That is what you call fresh lamb. Still got the umbilical cord attached. Bless the little thing. Potential meat. Another beautiful evening. So I'm here with Coops then and we are uh, hopefully going to shoot a deer and I'm lucky enough to be able to take the shot tonight. So what Coops is doing he is just putting a target out in the field so I can have a practice run. You know, there's no good trying to take down a deer. You know, if you've got no idea, you can't put it in the right spot, you know. So, yeah. He just walked the target out. It's a cardboard box. I'm going to set a camera up down there as well so you can see my attempt. And uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, now it's my turn. Let's go and see. So, Cooks's was that one and that one, mate, isn't it? Yeah. That one, mine, mine, and that one still in the kill zone, but I felt a little bit. I yeah. should do. But yeah, I'm oh, well chuffed. Yeah, that should be good enough. We'll go out and have a go. Yeah, for real. So I just took those three practice shots then, you know, while within the kill zone, uh, pretty much mirrored Coops' shots, which I'm well chuffed at because he is the kiddie and uh, time to go and do it for real. Uh, see if we can get a deer because this is a video I've been wanting to make for a long, long time. And today's the day.
down. Excellent, mate. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, he can't help himself. Just leave it now, we'll follow it up in a minute. I literally just pressed record as you fired. Did it get it? I don't know. It got it on the floor right then. Fucking How do you feel? <laughs> I don't feel too bad now for actually having a shot at that one earlier. And isn't it? Nervous? No. Shaking? No. That's all right then. So how do we find our quarry then, Clue? Well, obviously here is yeah. the strike point, yeah? Well, this is where you hit it. Yeah. The deer, I don't know if you can catch it on film. Yeah, just you can see there's a ride coming down where yeah. they, a path where they travel. So we just... This uh, is the strike point. Plenty of blood. More blood there. Is that normal? Yeah. You should get... So you just follow the blood trail. Up the path. If you can see a little bit of blood, and follow it on. Now it's getting very dark now. It's not that dark for us, but it's dark on film. Oh, I don't know if you can just catch that. There he is. Yeah, little Monty. Awesome. It's just a shame we haven't got. A torch, but we'll bring him out into the light. Hang on. I'll see how oh, we have. So here it is. We just had to get the torch out just so you can see it because the uh, the light's going a bit now. So first time. So this is Scott's first deer. Nice little muntjac buck. Lovely. That's nice lovely. shot placement. Base of the neck. Turn him over, see the exit. Exit is just behind the front leg. Look at that, perfect shot placement. Lovely. Awesome. Right, we'll take him home, take him back uh, to the farm, and we're grallicking. We'll have a cup of tea and all. Yeah. All right, Bo. Okay, so uh, this is Scott's deer he just shot. Um, the reason we're back at the farm um, is because. We're 10 minutes away from where we shot it. There he is, the man himself. Literally 10 minutes away. The quad was right by the, the seat where we were sitting. So what's the point in grallicking it out in the field, in the dark, with a torch, when we can bring it back, suspend yeah. it, and do it in the light? Yeah. That's the whole reason so why we're doing please it. Please don't say, oh, you should have done it there and then. We were literally <laughs> 10 minutes away. Rock on. So... Um, some people might have different ideas of grallicking. This is the way I do it. I try and keep it as simple as possible. So if you don't agree with it, you don't agree with it. You do it your way. But this is the way I do it. Um, they're only small deer, so I can do it fairly quick, almost like a rabbit. So the first thing to do is cut the bum hole out. Bum hole. Okay, so what you can see here, I've cut round the bum hole. Pulled it out, Bum hole. just got, run these little pellets down and out, so they're not contaminating anything, and then I'll just tie it off. 
simple knot just to stop any more pellets of poo coming out when pellets I pull it through. When I pull it through. Can't beat a pull through, can you? Nope. With an oily rag. Try. Right, now I'll grab this winky. I'll just cut just underneath. Winky, that'll pull through in a bit. Now, in. This is the important part then, yeah? Yeah, so you don't want to pop your bag. So if you can see, I'm just guiding it down with my fingers. Let's see, there's the bag. Guide it down between my fingers. Just trying not to. Nice and carefully, you can go as slow as you like. There's no race. It's not a race that you just want to get it done as cleanly as you can. Then I'm down to the sternum now. Right, so we're just pulling the stomach and all the bag out. Some people will say this isn't the right way of doing it, but I just let gravity do everything for me. Well, that's what they do, there's a lot of slaughterhouses, mate, so... Yeah, so... There's the goal. There's the liver. Just take that out. Right, so now everything should be out. On the lungs. That's there. Uh, now I'll do it through the sternum. So now we've gone through the sternum, nice sharp knife, all the way down. But the main thing is the animal has been killed nice and humanely and quickly. Yeah. Hasn't suffered. It drops on the, virtually on the spot. Okay, it ran for 15 yards, just on adrenaline, and then that was it. Done. All the way to the skull. It's a bit messy here, but that's the shot damage. When you get to the skull, you can cut it through. Easiest way to take the head off is back of the ears, straight through. Are you looking for the atlas joints, is it? Yeah. And then... Twist again like we did last summer, yeah? Yeah, twist it round. Normally a couple of times. And there you have the head. Taken off, there's the atlas joint, nice and simply. Perfect. Okay, and then your front hooves, easiest way, to fold them up on itself, push it through, bring it back round, other way, done. Two hooves off. Right here, so how do you feel then, your first deer? Really good. Really, really, really good. Now, for all you Americans out there, these are not baby deer. These are fully grown muntjac bucks. This is their smallest deer species we have in the UK. Not native. They were introduced, but they are lovely. Not a dog. No. Nope. Not a dog. Not a rabbit. No. Not a hare. They are actually deer. Hare. 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 Yes. Cup of tea now, mate. I think so. Let's yeah. go. So, I'm just leaving Coops now then. It's 10 o'clock at night. As you see, very successful. Uh, a deer apiece. Couldn't be happier, so we've uh, grallied them. We're just letting them set overnight now in a cold place. I will go tomorrow. We're going to have the venison liver for breakfast, a stalker's breakfast. And then it's on to the butchery. Okay then, so we're back at the farm. In the morning, I am gonna cook this venison liver down on this attractive table. So a very, very simple dish. We're cooking outside, so I can help any of the noises. So I'm just gonna chop through a few mushrooms real quick. Now my venison liver, 
Overnight I've had it soaking in a very mild saline solution which is just water and a little bit of salt just to draw out any blood. So I think that'll do the mushes. Put them there. So okay, my venison liver. After excuse the sun, just gonna trim any bits off I don't want. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And just gently slice some nice slices off. How good does that look? So in here, a bag of seasoned flour, just some flour, salt, and cracked black pepper. Gonna get my pieces of liver in. Give it a shake. Get them nicely coated. And I will shake off the excess, and that's what they wanna look like. So I shall move that over there, get my stove out, and get cooking this beauty. Outdoors. Keith Floyd style -y. Beautiful plate. Shaking off the excess of that liver. We want to cook this real quick, nice and pink. Bearing in mind, this is not even 24 hours old. Offal, the fresher, the better. And shot by me. So, I'm looking forward to this. Into the pan, a decent, knob of butter then in with my shroom some shroom action you have to excuse if it's a bit windy we're on a bit of a funky angle as well but hey this is real outdoor cooking so we just want to cook these down a little bit looking good looking good what more could you ask for outdoors mushrooms fresh liver this is living the dream, isn't it? Okay, into that. Some of this wonderful venison liver. As you can see, it's on a slight angle. Can't be out. Have a look at that liver. How good does that look? Don't want to cook it very long. 45 seconds, maybe a minute max each side. Let's have a look at that. So I'm gonna remove my liver. So into my mushrooms, some creme fraiche. Oh, put a bit of caramel's mustard in there. So as if by magic, a piece of toast appears. I'm just gonna put some of those almost deviled shrooms on and then some of that liver so you know nothing fancy we're out in the middle of nowhere some liver some mushrooms some toast not bad for in the middle of a field mmm nothing like the liver in the morning eh right time for my part of the bargain into the truck mate one. Job's good. And what we got there, mate? A couple of pheasant eggs. Right, mate. Cheers for that. I shall catch you soon. Okay then. So we're back in the SRP HQ on home turf. And I've got those deer in my game chiller. Now this is an amazing bit of kit. Again, I know I say it all the time, but I absolutely love this. This is a designated game chiller from Cool Game. I will put the link in the comments. Just another bit of kit I really couldn't do without. As you can see, it's running at three degrees. It's got the fan on, so it circulates the air. Absolutely ideal. Great racking inside as well. And in there, happened to be hanging two deer. Well my dear friends that is the first part of this journey done and I couldn't be happier. I mean I have to say a big thanks to Coops my main man my mate you know he took me out we had those practice shots uh, 
the first place we went, we saw a deer. It was about 30 yards away. It just didn't present itself for the shot. Then, of course, as we were riding back, old Hawkeye Coops, he just stopped. He's like a leopard. He just stops and got off. And he put the gun up to the sticks and he actually looked at me as if to say, I'm having this one. And as you see, he did. Bless him. And then, of course, you know, he did. He, he said, I felt bad for that, mate. I should have let you take that. So as the light was uh, fading, he took us to the final spot. And then you saw me take my shot, which is the first deer I have ever shot, ever. So it's quite a special moment, really, you know with my mate, great evening, and obviously the finished results you can see in that chiller. Now, from a filming point of view, are uh, very, very tricky. You know, there was multiple cameras, good lighting, bad lighting, the wind, you know, the weather. There's nothing I can do about that, but I just hope that what you have just watched gives you a rough idea of what it was like for us on that evening, you know. Uh, very challenging film wise, but as a whole, I absolutely loved it. So obviously the next part on this journey is the butchery, but you'll have to tune in next time for part two, where we break those carcasses down into primals and then we can see what we can get out of them. So be sure to join me next time for venison field to fork part two. But before I go, if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today, please click that subscribe button. Also find me on my social media, Facebook Scott Ree, The Scott Ree Project. Also my Twitter, at The Scott Ree Project. And be sure to join me for part two. So, until then my friends, take care. Why didn't you tell me I had a bit of blood on my top lip? Hey ho